there's this period of time we identify as the dark ages where yeah there was matter and energy but nothing shining yet today we have the internet we can easily log every little detail about our lives and upload it onto the web where it'll stay forever so future generations can just look things up and they'll be able to see everything that happened in our lives firsthand but for us in the present things aren't that easy we have to put in thousands of hours of research to figure out what's happened in the past and with it we can learn about how things might progress in the future started to get chemical data back from the surface and we immediately uh, got some surprises well in that research, scientists have discovered that there are areas in space where several galaxies have vanished, and now something else has emerged, and it changes everything. Join us as we figure out what happened that caused galaxies to disappear into the abyss, and what the new changes might mean for our future. The mysteries of the universe and Earth are both intriguing and complex. From the cosmic microwave background cold spot to the greater unconformity, we are constantly faced with questions about our surroundings that we are yet to fully understand. The greater unconformity is a geological mystery that has baffled scientists for years. It's a literal gap in the geological record, a time period of between 100 million and 1 billion years, during which there is almost no evidence of geological activity on Earth. It's as if for this window in time, the Earth's geological clock had simply stopped ticking. The thought of this happening is downright terrifying because we're not talking about a year or two. We're talking about millions of years just lost, with no person or record giving us any insight of what happened and how the Earth bounced back. Most of the time, things like this are theories, but in this case, there's tons of proof that makes it clear that it did happen. The greater unconformity has been observed in various rock sections around the world. In some places, it is a mere blip on the geological timeline, while in others it spans hundreds of millions of years. This huge gap in the geological record is known as one of the most significant unconformities ever discovered. One of the most intriguing aspects of the greater unconformity is that it isn't simply a matter of missing rocks. The rocks that were formed during this time period were almost entirely eroded away, leaving almost no evidence of their existence. Plus, the rocks that do exist from this period show clear signs of weathering and erosion, indicating that they have been exposed to the elements for a long time. So what happened during this mysterious period of Earth's history? One theory is that the Earth underwent a period of extreme weathering and erosion, which removed almost all of the existing rock formations. Another theory is that the Earth underwent a massive tectonic event, which caused the existing rocks to be destroyed and new rocks to be formed. The rocks that we can trace back are from after the tectonic event. This does make sense considering there's evidence that the Earth has gone through other tectonic events in the past too. Turns out, space works the same exact way. While on Earth we have the great unconformity in space, there's the great void. The great void is a massive, empty space in the universe that scientists have yet to fully comprehend. It's a region that is almost entirely empty of galaxies, stars, and even dark matter. What happened here that caused several galaxies to just vanish? And could this be happening anywhere else? The Great Void is a perplexing phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for years. Its sheer size and emptiness make it an unusual and fascinating topic of study. Eridanus Supervoid, where the Great Void is located, is a vast region that spans across almost one billion light-years. The void itself is estimated to be around 300 million light-years across, making it one of the largest voids in the universe. This void isn't completely empty, but it is incredibly sparse compared to other regions of space. Scientists have been trying to understand what could have caused the Great Void for years, and they've come up with a few possible explanations. One theory is that it was created by a primordial black hole that engulfed matter around it. Primordial black holes are thought to have formed during the early moments of the universe's creation, and they could have been smaller than typical black holes. They could have started out as tiny quantum fluctuations in the early universe that grew larger as the universe expanded. These black holes could have gobbled up all the matter around them, 
leaving behind a vast, empty space. This could make sense because we've seen evidence of black holes swallowing up massive sections in space, but could they really become so powerful that they've taken several galaxies with them? Another possible explanation for the Great Void is cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are hypothetical objects that could have formed during the universe's early moments. They are thought to be thin, long, and incredibly dense objects that could have been produced as the universe cooled. These strings would have interacted with matter and gravity in strange ways, causing matter to be pushed away from them. This could have created vast, empty regions of space, such as the great void in between other matter. So there would be no need for dark matter or anything else to occupy that space. It would simply be the space that was created when the matter was pushed out of the space it was supposed to be in originally. Another possibility is that the Great Void is simply a result of cosmic variance. Cosmic variance is the idea that the universe is not entirely uniform on very large scales, and there are regions that are naturally emptier than others. It's similar to how, when you look at a picture, some parts are more crowded than others. On a cosmic scale, some regions could be naturally emptier than others, with no specific reason or cause, and the Great Void could just be one example of this natural variation. But then again, there's also the problem of perspective. What if we've been looking at everything wrong this whole time? The concept of the universe expanding was first proposed in the early 20th century by astronomer Edwin Hubble. He observed that galaxies were moving away from us, and the farther away they were, the faster they appeared to be moving. This led to the theory that the universe was expanding. However, in the late 1990s, scientists made a startling discovery. They found that not only was the universe expanding, but it was actually accelerating in its expansion. This discovery was made through observations of supernovae, which are exploding stars that emit a known amount of light. By measuring the amount of light received on Earth from these supernovae, scientists were able to calculate the distances to them and how fast they were moving away from us. This discovery was a major surprise, as it was expected that the force of gravity would eventually slow down the expansion of the universe. Instead, it appears that an unknown force, dubbed dark energy, is causing the acceleration. The nature of dark energy remains a mystery, and it's one of the biggest puzzles in modern cosmology. As the universe continues to expand and accelerate, galaxies will eventually become so distant that they will appear to be moving away from us faster than the speed of light. This is because of the fact that space itself is expanding between us and the distant galaxy. What that means is that not only will we never be able to reach these galaxies, but we won't even be able to observe them anymore, as their light will never be able to reach us, essentially disappearing altogether. You see, the universe we live in is made up of countless galaxies, stars, planets, and other celestial objects. But did you know that the oldest light in the universe is still present today? This light is called the cosmic microwave background, and it fills the entire universe. The CMB is a type of electromagnetic radiation that was first discovered in the 1960s by two radio astronomers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, who were studying radio waves in space. So, what exactly is the CMB, and where does it come from? The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, which is the event that gave birth to our universe approximately 14 billion years ago. The Big Bang was a massive explosion that created everything in the universe, including time and space. In the beginning, the universe was incredibly hot and dense, but as it expanded, it cooled down. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough for the first atoms to form, and at that point, the light was able to travel freely through space. This light eventually became the CMB that we observe today. The CMB is like a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. It provides us with a perfect record of what the universe looked like in its infancy. By studying the temperature variations in the CMB, we can learn a lot about the early universe. The CMB shows tiny hot and cold patches, which are caused by small quantum density fluctuations that occurred when the universe was young. These fluctuations were amplified by cosmic inflation, which is a theory that explains how the universe expanded incredibly quickly in the first moments after the Big Bang. The primordial fluctuations in the CMB have provided cosmologists with vast amounts of data, 
and they have helped to support the theory of cosmic inflation. Although the CMB has given us a lot of insight into the early universe, it also poses some mysteries and anomalies. One of these anomalies is the cosmic microwave background cold spot, which is a large and unusually cold patch on the CMB. The CMB cold spot is about 70 microkelvin colder than the average CMB temperature and appears in the southern celestial hemisphere. Overall, the radius of the cold spot is about 5 degrees, which is much larger than the largest fluctuations in the primordial CMB temperature, which occur on an angular scale of about 1 degree. This makes the cold spot even more unusual. Many theories have been proposed to explain the CMB cold spot, and almost all of them are widely different from one another. One possibility is that it is a statistical fluke, which means that it is just a random occurrence that has no particular significance. Another possibility is that it is caused by a supervoid, which is a large empty space in the universe that has less matter than the surrounding areas. Similar to the dark void we've talked about earlier on in the video, but even bigger and a lot colder. The supervoid could be causing the cold spot by interacting with the CMB radiation that is passing through it. Other theories suggest that the cold spot could be evidence of exotic physics, such as the existence of a parallel universe or a cosmic string. And then, there's dark matter. Dark matter is the elusive ingredient that makes up most of the universe, and without it, our galaxies wouldn't even exist. But what if we told you that some small galaxies seem to be missing a whole lot of it? I mean, we're talking about a lot less dark matter than we ever expected. Scientists have identified 19 dwarf galaxies, much smaller than our own Milky Way, that seem to defy our understanding of how galaxies are formed. These outliers have much less dark matter than we ever thought possible, adding to the already simmering mystery surrounding the elusive substance. It's not easy to understand how these galaxies came to be. Dwarf galaxies typically concentrate dark matter far more than larger galaxies, but these tiny rebels seem to have a different story. Their smaller size leads to weaker gravity, which makes it difficult for them to hold on to tenuous clouds of gas. This usually shifts the balance of mass in dwarf galaxies away from normal matter and toward dark matter, but not for these outliers. Scientists have been researching for years to figure out how these galaxies formed, where they emerged from, and why they have so little dark matter. Kyle Oman, an astrophysicist at Durham University in England, says, This new class of galaxy is straining our ability to explain all galaxies in one cohesive framework. It's a mystery that has scientists around the world working together because everyone wants to get to the bottom of this mystery. In 2016, Oman and his colleagues identified two galaxies that appeared to be missing dark matter. A while after that, two more oddballs turned up, and now we have 19 in total. Scientists used data from the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico to weigh dwarf galaxies by observing how fast hydrogen moves around them. The higher the speed, the more total mass a galaxy has. They then combined the mass of the hydrogen and stars to estimate how much of each galaxy's mass is made up of normal matter. In about 6% of cases, the total mass of a galaxy added up to less than the mass of the gas and stars. The missing mass is the dark matter, which is not surprising. But the 19 dwarf galaxies in question are all within about 500 million light years of Earth, and five are in or near other groups of galaxies. In those cases, the researchers note, Perhaps their galactic neighbors have somehow siphoned off their dark matter. But the remaining 14 are far from other galaxies. Either these oddballs were born differently, or other things like exploding stars could have upset their balance of dark matter and everyday matter. James Bullock, an astrophysicist at the University of California, Irvine, suggests that it may not be a case of missing dark matter at all. Maybe these dwarf galaxies have clung to their normal matter or even stolen some. Whatever the case, this discovery is telling us something about the diversity of galaxy formation. The only trick is figuring out exactly what it's telling us. The discovery adds to the mystery of galaxy formation and challenges our current understanding of the universe. It suggests that there may be more diversity in the formation of galaxies than previously thought, and that the role of dark matter in this process is more complex than we had assumed. This new finding could lead to revisions in current models of galaxy formation and evolution.
The study of dark matter is a crucial part of understanding the universe on a larger scale. The more we learn about dark matter and its role in the formation of galaxies, the better we can understand the universe as a whole, including the formation of our own Milky Way galaxy, and if the threat of the disappearing galaxies could end up being true for ours as well. If there's even a sliver of a chance that it could be, we need to figure out ways to get ahead of it, so we can save our galaxy from disappearing and becoming virtually nothing before it's too late. Thankfully, the threat isn't imminent to us right now. But if it is, we're already on our way to figuring out the solution. But do you think we're really safe? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.